said you're going to pardon the peaceful protesters. Yep. What about the guys that busted the windows and carried the things around in the in the Congress in the Capitol? Well, well, the thing I, I don't know. This microphone's interfering. When it's too close. So I can just give use my microphone. Here's what I will say. I've committed to anybody who did not commit violence, anybody who didn't hurt somebody, that they get, they get a pardon on day one because otherwise it's two standards of the rule of law. Now, for the other cases, we got to look at constitutional violations. Yeah. I mean, the truth is there's a rule called the Brady Rule. I don't know if you're familiar with that from constitutional law. If you're a defendant, you're entitled to exculpatory evidence. What does that mean? Video footage, right? If, if, you're, if somebody robs a bank, they don't just get the video footage of the time they were in and out. You get the whole incident. Well, they withheld that. So I'm not the president yet. I don't have all the facts. Even with the facts I have, I will say anybody who didn't commit an act of violence that day gets a pardon on day one. Most presidents wait till the last day they're in office to do the pardons and then just sort of sign them off and they don't want accountability. No, I'm going to get hit hard for this. I don't care. I'll take it. That's what, we, that's what we want. Part of the point is sending a signal to this country. So on January 20th, 2025, anybody on that list, and by the way, Julian Assange to Donald Trump to Douglas Mackey to a whole bunch of others, Owen Schroyer, Owen Schroyer was from January 6th, is going to get a pardon on that day one too. And then after that, we're just getting started. I think that we have to look case by case. Anybody who's been denied constitutional due process rights, who didn't get access to the video footage, which increasingly suggests, and I know you're not supposed to say this, Increasingly suggests that January 6th was the product of government orchestrated entrapment and, inte and intentional intelligence failure. We can go into that, but when I'm the president, I'll have the fact that they haven't gone to the public. But right now I know what is public. And based on that, on January 20th, 2025, anybody who was a peaceful protester that day who didn't commit a violent act will get a pardon. As will, I will tell you, anybody who we discover underwent a constitutional violation of due process, because that's just what it means to stand for the rule of law, swear an oath to the Constitution, and keep it in this country. That's what I would say.